for being here. Uh, it's really a blessing to have such a wonderful family and friends of the family that can uh, take some time to come and, and spend this special occasion with us. Um, again, yeah, because the, the wedding was a very intimate uh, ordeal, and we, we just had about 25 people there, so it was, it was just quaint, and uh, it was really I'm nice to be able to celebrate with all of you uh, it here. Is. So uh, this is my new beautiful wife. Her name is Lulu Sheep. And I've got about 60 more years to figure out how to pronounce her last name. So <laughs> um, we first met at a, a birthday party. Uh, her, okay, I'll try to project as if I have a microphone. We first met at her birthday, or at my birthday party. Uh, her cousin had brought her to, to my place in Toronto, and her cousin was a good friend of mine from high school. Um, I was pretty intrigued by her right away. Uh, I don't believe that she saw herself standing here next to me three years later, but uh, here we are. Um, from this point forward, from, from my wedding forward, I'll count that as about the luckiest moment of my life. Um, though they're not present here today and they weren't at the wedding in person, but they were by a video. Um, I should just formally thank her parents in front of all of you guys. Um, I was pretty fearful of meeting her family when I went over there, uh, but uh, that was a mistake because they were just so kind to us. Um, I mean, they greeted us, they were kind right away. They made us uh, dumplings, which is a traditional way to to uh, greet a new person into the family or a friend, so, so that was delicious. Um, and that's really where I found out uh, a lot more about where Lulu gets her qualities from. Uh, she's gentle and kind and beautiful and, and just trusting um, and genuine. And I found out that a lot of those qualities come from her family and from her parents. So it was my pleasure to get to meet them and I realized that uh, I really didn't need to be afraid of that. <laughs> um, I always say I won't be able to thank them enough for it, uh, but what I'm going to try to do is... Is that a little better? Thank you. It's my best to, to make her happy each day, and that's how I plan to thank her for it. Um, I want to thank my parents and family. That echoes really hard to get used to, but I'll try to. You can just not use it up here. It's easier for you guys to hear me. Or are we go okay in the back? much better. So my my brother and sister, um, they you guys all know them fairly well. They're some of the most creative people that, that I know, and, and they really taught me the meaning of creativity as I was growing up, and of really following your heart and, and not really listening to what um, what the world tells you to do or what, what everyone you know wants you to do. Just really following your heart and doing what you feel is right, and and they've done that in a way that I haven't ever seen anyone else do. So that was quite inspirational to me. And as I was growing up, we were pretty far apart in age, four and eight years, but um, they were always looking out for me, taking care of me, and as I got to be older, um, you know, uh, spending more time with them, they were always there and had my back, so it was something I'm very uh, appreciative of. Um, my, my mom, uh, she's really, as I say, the ever, ever steady pillar of strength in our family. She's something, someone that's... Uh, we can really rely on in any situation, no matter how crazy things get, but she's going to be there to support us. Um, she's raised all of us, and she fought demons for us. She's helped us to see the, the lighter side of every situation, um, and uh, really helped bring out our potential in all of those situations, um, motivating us and, and convincing us it's worthwhile to strive towards the things that we believe in. I say in my life and uh, you know when I was growing up and, and today that she was one of my closest friends that I've ever had and I'm sure that will be the case for many many years to come. Um, my father is uh, someone I also look up to. Um, again, for a little bit I tie physically now, but uh, <laughs> um, I think he's someone that, that doesn't take as much credit as he deserves as far as raising our family, as far as being. Another pillar of strength, I guess. And uh, 
and most importantly, that he taught me from a young age and still today that uh, it's, it's important and worthwhile to work hard and to have an ethic um, and to work for the things you believe in and you really love. And, and that's something that uh, will stick with me for the rest of my life and really shape me. Um, they both taught me a lot about love. Um, how, to, how a person can transform into a better version of themselves through love. Um, how you can turn differences into opportunities for growth. Um, and I said, like, even though me and Lulu came from very, very different places, and my parents in many ways were just as different as we were in, in some ways, but they really used that to learn how to listen to each other and to communicate and, and adapt and, and grow. And so that's something I think we can learn a lot from. Um, they've also accepted Lulu in the family. And that's not surprising to me. I knew that when I brought her home, they would be accepting of her, and um, and that they would accept my love for her, and that they would in turn love her. Um, and I say I was right, which I am most of the time. parents are here as well. Um, he, he's really seen me here, uh, seen me in my life at my best and at my worst, my happiest and saddest, and, and uh, basically just been a really amazing friend to me through all of it. Um, we're the kind of friends that uh, don't really stay mad at each other too long. We've had physical fights, and uh, maybe five minutes later decided it was probably a good idea that we have to sleep over and hang out together that night. So, um, yeah, we don't we don't hold grudges. Um, and I would also say he's the only one that can tell me where the swimmer came from. It's a little bit inside. Who's the most dominant tennis player in the ring? Which I think he'll probably allude to. And who's a bitch? To Pete Sanders. Which he'll turn on. <laughs> um, so spending so much time together every weekday, every weekend. Um, I also got to know his parents very well, and they became, to me, somewhat of a second set of parents. Um, I learned a lot from them. Um, that was a good friend last year. Um, I learned a lot from them about family, and about faith, and about love, and kindness, and, um, and I think that actually helped shape my character a lot as I grew up, and, and still today I take a lot from just how wonderful their family got along, and how they cared for the family, and, and that's really inspirational to me. So I'm glad you guys can make it. Um, I won't go on too long, but finally, I want to thank all of you for being here. Um, you're really the best family that, that anyone could ask for. Um, you make every special occasion special. Um, even when we don't spend a lot of time together, I feel a lot of love from all of you. I feel a connection to all of you. I think it goes a lot deeper than any one person or, or any one moment or, or like I said, the amount of time or, or you know, when we do spend time together, we know that there's just a, a love in between us that uh, doesn't have to be talked about or, or, or elaborated on. It's just, it's just there. And it's, uh, it gives me a lot of strength. So thank you all for being here.